Joe Gibbs said he always wants to keep a tight end on Lawrence Taylor. His best blocker is his tight end, Don Warren, number 85. Lawrence Taylor lined up on the left side. That time, Warren lined up on the right side, shifted over to the left side so he could be nose to nose with Taylor. Taylor has stayed so far on the right side of the defense. And now he gets company in the place of Byron Hunt. Here comes Taylor on a blitz. Nisman gets rid of it. Not enough for a first down. This is a matchup that Joe Gibbs was talking about all day. He said, the guy we have to block is right here, 56, Lawrence Taylor. He said, I always want that guy 85 on him. Of course, it's a pass play there. Here comes Lawrence Taylor. He says, I can't block him with a guard. He tried. He's right. Lawrence Taylor was in Joe Theismann's face. You can't block him like that. Now they move around. They get Dunny Warren over in front of Lawrence Taylor again. Theismann misses that counter play. Ricketts takes it to the outside. Chased by Taylor. Ball is loose. They're going to say he was down, I believe. They do say that Ricketts hit the ground, and that's what jarred the ball loose. He was chased down by Taylor. With Quinto in motion. Taylor on a blitz. He's got it, and Theismann throws it to the ground. That's intentional grounding. Immediately down. You can't do that. Intentional grounding. And, you know, of course, they always try and throw it to some receiver. But watch Lawrence Taylor here. He starts like he's coming from the outside, comes inside, mismatch here. Joe Washington had a block. Him. Can't do it. And name like Ali Haji Sheik. Here's Joe Washington dancing to the 35. Lawrence Taylor on the bottom of the pile. That's it. Been back to throw outside to Washington. Lawrence Taylor on the coverage. If they choose to use him. Second and eight. Regan's got two. Washington is back in the Redskins picture now. Heisman back to throw. To the five. To Joe Washington. Let's watch how much respect that these Redskins have for Taylor. There's three guys right there. One, two, three. They said. Look, we're going to pass the ball. We know one guy's not going to get there. We got a guy on his right, a guy on his left, and a guy right in the middle. That's the old triple team. Wonder who blocked the rest of the guys. I don't know. Redskins at the door. Riggins and Wansley. Two runners. Riggins the fullback. Wansley goes in motion. They get to Riggins. Riggins taken down by Lawrence Taylor. over to the right side. Walker goes back in motion the other way. Heisman takes the draw to Riggins. Now has to come out of the pocket and does. Gets some help. Heisman cuts back around Van Pelt and gets a Redskin first down. Watch number 56. Watch him now. He has Joe Jacoby on him. See, that's what Joe Gibbs said. He said, I got to get my tackle on Taylor. Doesn't do a lot of good. Taylor plays off him, knocks another one down, and chases Theismann all the way out of bounds. This guy, you know, Ross well, Houston plays all out, plays 100%. They all don't do that. No. But this guy does. Uh, Charlie Brown was in motion. Here comes reverse. To Alvin Garrett, who cuts inside one defender. Can't do any more as Lawrence Taylor gets his hooks on him. I think Joe Gibbs is saying right now, Doc on if we're going to run a reverse, we probably shouldn't run it at Lawrence Taylor's side because he's too quick. You see Taylor, he started to flow, but then he's quick enough to come back. And watch, he's waiting right there for Garrett. You, know, you can fool him a little, but the guy you like to fool is a guy that doesn't have a lot of quickness. After they lost one game, the next day, Lawrence Taylor came in to Bill Parcells and says, look, I want to play offense too. He wanted to play tight end, play both ways, play the whole game. That's well, not a bad idea. It really isn't. What they should do is stamp out a few more of him and let a few of them play offense. And if you play defense, it'd be okay. I don't know how much he makes, but he deserves it. Warren is over in front of him this time. If Kobe stays in the upright stance, here comes Taylor. Theismann has to unload. Joe Washington, the intended receiver, and once again, Lawrence Taylor was breathing right down his throat. Well, you know, and that's a matchup that Joe Gibbs is trying to get. His best blocking tight end, Don Warren, nose to nose on Lawrence Taylor. And he still rushed Joe Theismann. Warren lined up 
as the tight end to the right. Walker goes in motion. Here is Joe Washington. Looking for daylight and finding instead Harry Carson and Lawrence Taylor. On third down, the Giants show blitz and then they back out. But here comes Taylor. Pass complete to Washington, and it looks like he might be a half yard shy of a first down. Taylor was on the loose again. Fourth and short. Riggins deep. One three in front of him. Riggins gets the first down. Nudges inside the Giant 30. Harry Carson and Lawrence Taylor again. Washington comes in. And the Smurfs both go off to the left. Brown and Garrett. Heisman drops the throw. Looking for some place to go and can't find it. Here's Lawrence Taylor on the scene one more time. LT. Joe Gibbs is doing what he has to on that play. He's coming from the outside, from the right-hand side of the screen, being blocked by Joe Jacoby. He just gets off. Now what? Here he comes, right from behind Theismann. He felt it, tried to get out of the way, but it was too late. Well, Joe Gibbs said they had to control Lawrence Taylor. So far, I'd say it's i uh, I'd give the advantage to Taylor. I would think so.